Hello all, my name is Laura Shoemaker. I am in Facilities Planning at Roswell Park Cancer Institute and welcome to our new ICU. Upon arrival to the new ICU, there is a reception desk to greet all. It is central within the unit and it is designed to um, accommodate two to three people. There are multiple levels of lighting to be inviting at all times of day. Approximately two years ago, Facilities Planning engaged in um, regular meetings with nursing, senior administration, um, infection control, capital projects, a, an entire design team. During those meetings, we talked about what works, what doesn't work, and we incorporated many designs that we had seen from around the country into what would work here at Roswell Park. One of which was the central station. It's on access as soon as you walk into the facility and will serve as a greeting function for all that come to visit. There are multiple levels of lighting so that there is an ambiance no matter what time of the day someone comes to visit the ICU. Everything within this space was designed to be natural, was designed to be warm and welcoming. However, we do not want to take away from the view. The view really is our focal point here. That is the point that is, I would say, the most unique about this space. So we would never want to do anything to detract from that. Everything within the space is designed to be subtle, natural, calming, and soothing. One of the most unique points about this space is actually the amount of sunlight. And that can be morning, evening, all four seasons. Beautiful appreciation of Western New York. Within the space, there was a lot of research done for everything that went into it. There were um, many individuals that went on a road trip to Canada to take a look at the Hill Rom displays. The boom was a centerpiece of the room. It's critical to nursing to have full access to the patient. The boom swing out and around, allowing the bed to hover from the wall and have full access to the patient. This was something that nursing was critical in the decision on this piece. As well as there is um, a patient lift in every room, another decision by nursing. The overall aesthetic of the room is designed to be peaceful, tranquil. There is a natural circle theme to the ICU. Actually, if we look at the chairs, there's a uh, pattern on the fabric here. There's a pattern within the floor, pattern on the privacy curtain, and then the pattern repeats to the front of the reception desk. There are multiple um, levels of seating. There is a chair here for patients, another comfort, comfortable chair for guests, and then in the event that there are multiple visitors for a patient, there are uh, chairs that stack over to the side so that we can um, provide comfort for all of our visitors. Another key function within the ICU is the undulating walls. What this did, did was afforded us the opportunity to pocket in a decentralized nursing station, allowing visibility into each room from the nursing station. The placement of each boom was strategically placed opposite the window so that there is always the view of the patient from nursing. The design of the central core is such that there is access from both sides of the corridor. This will be our med pixis and supply area. Access from both sides and each pocket within the central core connects on both sides and the that gives the opportunity for pass-through minimizing footsteps. There's a hand wash station, there's a nutrition station at each at opposite ends, minimizing that travel distance. There's a staff room here in the central core, and actually a drop down area for the different disciplines that don't necessarily have need for a, a specific workstation. Located centrally is a tube station in the central core. Also with connection from both sides is a um, supply area also in the central core, a niche has been created for the crash cart and another nursing station down at the far end. In the evening hours, there is a lower level of lighting, creating a more ambient lighting for those that are sleeping. The soffit lighting runs the perimeter of the unit. An elevator ride to eight drops family members off. 
right in family waiting. There's no confusion as to where you need to go. The view is the first thing that you see, followed by some soft, comfortable seating. Inspiration is truly comfort. Nothing to take um, away from the effect of the view that is so key in this area. Um, we have, there will be vending here with food and drinks, a small kitchenette area for individuals that are here for multiple hours, an area for um, doing work, for eating, and then some soft, comfortable seating, as well as a few gliders, as we know that this motion is, is comforting to people, especially when they're here for several hours. After two years of planning, it's wonderful to welcome patients and visitors and staff into our new ICU, and I thank you for taking this tour with me.